Hello, welcome to Project Amos. I am your host, Louise, and I am in a really good mood today because not only is it my birthday, but I get to show you how to make cachapas, which is a uh, Venezuelan staple. You could eat it during breakfast, during lunch, during um, dinner, brunch, snacks, whatever. In, in Venezuela, it's, it's a very popular street food, but even the higher grade restaurants have it. And I've noticed that it's notoriously hard to get over here, but it's so easy to make that I hope to share my recipe with you. Now, this is the second time I personally make it. Like, whenever my parents make it, I don't like it, so I've kind of developed my own style in the last couple of days. Okay, I'm just kidding. This is the second time I make it, but I think this time I will get it right. Now, all you need is two eggs, which I have already whisked for you right there. You don't have to whisk them. You can just toss them in. Uh, butter or... Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm using margarine. I can't believe it's not butter. Or, or just any kind of butter that you want. Now, he here's a quick tip. If you're going to use butter that has... that is not unsalted, then you don't need to put salt into this mixture. Maybe we just like it sweet, but there's a lot of recipes that I've seen on the internet in which they tell you to add salt. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Uh, some honey. I love using honey for everything that I make. I'm a big, big lover of honey. That's why the teddy bear is upside down. Because uh, it has solidified on top, as you can see. So, oatmeal flour. And of course, four cups of corn. See, that's a cup. That's a perfect cup. Now I'm a little unorthodox myself, so what we're gonna do first. Is add the eggs. Remember, it's two eggs. Just gonna take this away real quick. This side. Oh. We're gonna open the butter. This is marketing, but whatever. And you're gonna add. One whole tablespoon. Actually, that's a little too little. A little bit more? Yeah. Ugh, I should have gotten another one. A whole tablespoon of butter. One, no, actually two. Two tablespoons of, um, what's this called again? I always forget, um, oatmeal flour. Because that's actually gonna help the batter stick better. Like something I've noticed is that Oatmeal flour actually makes it stick really, 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 really well. So here's one tablespoon, one spoonful, one spoonful, and there's two. Good measure. There you go. That's perfect. There it goes the fling again. Kind of cold. It's, again, it's my birthday as of the recording of this video, and I'm doing this at 4 a.m. in the morning. Something crazy like that. 
I recommend using at least two to three full tablespoons. So again, we kind of like them sweet, and since the corn that we're using is not sweet corn, it's just, you know, the kind of corn that you get from the store, frozen. It's kind of salty, not that sweet. Oh my gosh, this is not running all that well. I guess I'll pause it. Hang on. We'll be done with this in a minute. And there it is. Uh, I think all the honey is in. Yeah, about uh, two to three tablespoons. Again, you can use any sweetener that you want. I saw one recipe, somebody used stevia. I don't really like stevia. Uh, and if you're gonna use sugar, make sure that it's uh, brown sugar. Which is why I use the honey because they taste similarly and it's more healthy. Now you're gonna start adding your cups of corn. Here's about one cup of corn. Wow. That filled up rather quickly. Maybe we'll end up using less. Well, I made a mess. I think I'm gonna have to transfer this to a bigger bowl, so let's do that. <laughs> See, this is how you know I'm an amateur cook. It doesn't even know what they're doing. And I have an idea what I'm doing. I'm like, hmm. Okay. Get all in there. I just need one more cup of this stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and dump it. Straight from the bag. Now this is supposed to make about 10, around 10 pachapas. As long as they're made in like between 5 to 6 inches in diameter. So girls up here, I don't want them all to go to waste. Alright. And yeah, just want to stir it a little bit because afterwards we're gonna add it into the uh, what's it called? The uh, ninja bullet, or whatever that is. Yeah, ninja bullet, bullet ninja, whatever. So it doesn't matter. There's a million ways to make this. I just like playing it close. But yeah, about cooking this, I'm not gonna show you a video of me actually like cooking them, but you're just gonna get a skillet and uh, you're gonna put some butter or preferably some vegetable oil, corn oil. And it's basically kind of like a pancake. You're just gonna put it on the skillet and uh, cook it until it's uh, golden brown on both sides. And then you're gonna add a piece of cheese or a piece of avocado or a piece of cheese and avocado or two pieces of cheese. Traditionally, this goes with a uh, type of cheese that they have in Venezuela called queso de mano, but we don't have that here. And the, probably like the closest thing, oh, oh, and queso telita, but we don't have that here. And we're not really cheese makers over at my place. So yeah, you're just gonna get the uh, fresh mozzarella cheese, you know? Yeah one that they sell in Costco. That's the one that you use. So yeah, I'll show you pictures later. Wow, maybe I used too much corn. I think I used more corn than I did last time. I mean, my measurements were <laughs> rather accurate as far as I know. So I don't know what's going on here. Maybe I should add some more of everything else, nah, it's fine. 
But yeah, I guess me mixing this is just to give you a little bit of commentary. But yeah, this should make about think of Okay, I think that's been uh, mixed enough. Now it is time to actually make the batter. Okay, this is the most crucial part of our operation. To do. Magic bullet or blender. Tell her how to do this with a magic bullet. And you're not going to throw the whole thing in. What I like to do is I like to throw it in by increments. Hang on, let me get a, let me get a spoon. I like tossing it in in a spoonful increments. And uh, just going at it. Now, you don't want to fill the whole thing up because uh, otherwise it'll clog and uh, mom's going to be really pissed at me. <laughs> so, you don't want that. Sorry, this is taking a really long time because I don't want, you know, the uh, cameras like here and then the, um, the um, what's it called? The corn egg mixes like, behind it, so I'm like, making sure. I don't know if it like drips on me or on the phone or on the ground or whatever. Cause that would really suck. Uh, so I'm thinking I should have like probably dried this corn before making this because it's really wet. Like I like it was frozen and I just melted it. It's just that you're supposed to cook it for like five minutes, which I did, each batch. And I'm seeing a lot more water than I wanted to see, so I'm a little, a little hesitant at this point on to whether I'm doing a good job. I feel like every time I make this, or every time we make this, either something goes awry or, or it's just different every time. Even though this is, oh, see, I dripped something. Even though this is like this the exact same recipe that I used the other day, except now I feel like there's more corn and I don't know, I don't know. Sometimes I uh, make these videos to make sure that, uh, so I can watch them myself later, you know. I'm a visual learner. All right, that should be enough and that should be your, um, your first um, uh, half, your first cup, half cup, I don't know. So make sure you seal it really well, and this is gonna get loud. And this is the first time I'm gonna do this, and only time I'm gonna do this. Okay, one, two, three. Consistency. Make sure that what you're doing is not too crazy. Yeah, it's, it's a little too thick. You don't want it too runny. You want it kind of thick. But not that thick. Remember, we're not making pancakes. And these aren't exactly sweet corn tamale cakes that you've probably had over at the uh, Cheesecake Factory.
Let me, let me, maybe one more turn, just in case. It doesn't matter if it's like perfect. Should be fine. Yeah, see? This is the perfect consistency. Oh my god. So now we're just gonna start pouring it in here. Wow, that's running a lot slower than I thought. Probably because of all that honey that we used. Oof. But yeah, no, this is totally the right consistency. If anything, it feels a little thick. So I'm gonna grab my spoon and help it come down here. Wow, this is the right consistency. That's amazing. And wow, I can see like I could chop on a half in there already. So yeah, there you go. Um, I already told you how to proceed forward. Uh, just the uh, Toss them in, in the skillet of five diameter cachapa leech. Uh, put a wedge of mozzarella cheese in it and uh, cook until golden brown on both sides and then enjoy. Now, I'll show you a few pictures in a little bit on how they turn out because I don't really like filming while my families around and again it is my birthday and I have some guests so maybe we'll see um yeah that's that's all there is to it okay and we're done um, now the way um this is the texture that you want see it doesn't matter if a few kernels made it without being completely, uh, you know, uh, disintegrated. And remember, we're not making like a, we're not making a corn flour, but we're making corn batter and a bunch of other things. You want that fibrousy texture to show up. Now, I think this batter might have come out a little bit too thick for my taste. And if it's too thick, you just add water or another egg. Maybe, again, I used too much honey. But, yeah, this is what you're going for. You're, this is the texture that you want. I'll just show it to you one more time. That's what you want. If you get some kernels in your cachapas, that means your cachapas is actually kind of good. You don't want it too runny. You know, I imagine some people like it really runny, but the thing about really runny batters is that they don't stick. Like, when you when you put them on the skillet, they just don't stick. And then that becomes kind of a... It becomes really difficult for you to handle it the skillet because it'll just fall apart over and over and over and over and over again. You don't want that. Now, I know I'm not an expert and I'm actually not a real aficionado. Which I thought my favorite when I saw the food is actually the uh, uh, don't feel you, which is like the, uh, the uh, country's most popular, uh, most popular dishes. I didn't bust, but again, it's like the ketchup is really kind of like a, like a snacky staple. Oh, and I also like a salad negro, which is beef, but more on that later. Maybe another one. Ugh, I have a lot of dishes to wash now. So, yeah, there it is. That's my beautiful batter. This actually looks like it's going to feed a lot more than 10 people. So. Yeah, let me just mix it up a little bit. Let's just see, a bunch of bits still there. What are you doing? I feel like the honey made up. I don't know. 
this batter is turning out to be way thicker than, than I did last time. But again, that's fine, that's fine. It means that these things are gonna come out with a really nice consistency, at least in my opinion. I get to try, right? I guess I'll put me in on that later tonight. But anyways, that's all there is to it. It should take about half an hour to get it all done. Again, I'm an amateur cook. I don't really know what I'm doing. Well, I kind of do, but <laughs> I kind of do. So anyways, uh, if you've enjoyed this video, uh, give me a like. Please subscribe. Watch our links below. Remember, I have a store where I have some action figures and uh, that helps me stay in check. And until next time, uh, I really should do the Power Ranger reviews that I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, I'll do that tonight. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a pleasant day.